Sun, air, and water are the three essential elements of life. Have you ever imagined what it would look like when these were featured by architects in a building? Hello! Welcome to Taipei Public Library, the Beitou Branch. This library lies in Beitou Park, which is exceptionally rich in ecological resources and next to the Hot Spring Museum. The park and the museum were both built about a hundred years ago. With a lot of big old trees all around, this building is like a ship sailing in a green sea carrying treasures of knowledge and people who enjoy reading. It has three floors, the basement level, the first floor and second floor. Its total floor area is about 2,000 square meters. On entering this library, we can see large windows and beautiful green scenery outside. Reading in the relaxed atmosphere becomes a pleasure and an enjoyment. This library opened in November 2006. Mr. Guo Yingzhao and Ms. Zhang Qinghua designed the building, which uses wood, steel, and minimal reinforced concrete as building materials. It has an ecological balance between man, architecture, and the environment. And it was the first green building in Taiwan to receive the diamond level, the top one, through Taiwan's rating system, EEWH, which was designed for tropical and subtropical climates. A green building refers to a building that consumes minimal resources of the planet and produces minimal waste, and that should be ecological, energy-saving, waste-reducing and healthy. The concept of green building design emphasizes a symbiotic and sustainable living environment. The architects believe that buildings are a part of the environment. When planning the design, they took the surrounding environment into account, including the plants, the stream, and the habitats for plants and animals. Not a single tree around the construction site was chopped down in the building process. The architects adopted the multi-level green planting design. Various plants were grown around this building, including vines, to form an ecological network. For example, on the west side, there is even a covering of vines to insulate against summer heat and reduce reflected radiation. The plants on the rooftop garden help reduce the heat absorption. Besides, they help to collect and store rainwater. In fact, 
The entire park is like a sponge that lowers the impact of rainwater on the environment. Large-scaled water permeable pavement and wooden boardwalks around this building allow rainwater to soak into the ground and allow the ground to breathe. The sloping roof helps to collect rainwater. Rainwater is collected first in the filter tank and then is stored in a small reservoir beneath the building. The collected rainwater is used to water plants and flush toilets. The restrooms use facilities that are Green Mark certified by the Water Resources Agency, Ministry of Economic Affairs. This cruise liner shaped building was not designed for beauty only. When designing, the architects took the facing direction, the natural environment, and the energy efficient building into consideration. They designed tall and large windows on the east side, which has big trees outside to shade them. No windows on the narrow west side to avoid the exposure to the scorching afternoon sun in summer. The horizontal sunshade on the south side and the balcony with deep eaves and grills on the north side to form external sunshades. Most exterior walls are wooden structures. The light eco roof with a garden and solar panels provides heat insulation, reducing energy consumption. In addition, the extended balconies on the north side form comfortable reading spaces for readers to relax and to get closer to nature. The streamlined building design blends with nature and presents a fantastic visual feast. This library utilizes large-scale glass French windows on all sides, except for the west side, to introduce a large amount of natural light and decrease the usage of artificial lighting. In addition, energy-efficient lights are used, and some reading lamps come with switches for readers to turn on or off according to their needs in order to reduce lighting energy use. The bookshelves are 110 centimeters tall to create a more spacious and brighter interior, extending our line of sight to a green outdoor view. The design of the windows using different heights is to help this library become naturally ventilated when the air conditioners are off. And when the air conditioners are on in summer, the heat exchangers not only pull stale air out and fresh air in, but also reduce the indoor temperature by 4 degrees Celsius, thus cutting down energy consumption.
Also, the 16 kilowatt solar PV system on the rooftop generates about 40 kilowatt hours per day on average, which is about 10% of the electricity used in this library. The main structure is composed of steel columns and wood beams in a simple shape and a sensible structural system, which conforms to light architectural design. Steel and wood are recyclable materials with lower carbon dioxide emission than that of reinforced concrete construction. The entire library is lighter and the pressure from the building to the ground is decreased. like interior brick is produced from recycled materials to reduce environmental destruction from waste. Beito is well known for its hot springs. The architects took sulfurous gas from the hot springs into consideration. They used anti-erosion wood timber, Douglas fir, for beams, doors and window panes which were from trees that were grown in sustainably managed forests. The building materials used are all marked with the green building material label. Besides, wood oil was applied to the wooden furniture and floor to protect them. No toxic gases like VOCs or formaldehyde would be emitted. Moreover, wood can release a slight wood scent called phytoncide, so readers would feel like they are actually in the woods. This library has a spacious recycling room where waste is sorted and readied to be shipped to other treatment and recycling centers and recycling bins are set up on each floor. A pleasant reading environment a natural landscape with sun, air and water. A relaxed and romantic atmosphere. Taibi Public Library, the Beito branch, has won various awards since its reconstruction. It was named as one of the 25 most beautiful public libraries in the world by the US website flavorwire.com in 2012. It not only enriches the knowledge of Beito residents, but also induces invisible tourism resources and ecological education. Are you ready? Do you want to avoid busy and noisy life? Come to Taipei Public Library, the Beito branch. Enjoy a natural feast in this green treasure. Feel the culture and history of Beito and experience its superior reading environment. <laughs>